my name is Beck, and welcome to another reading vlog. If you saw from my last reading vlog, I'm still currently reading Bridge of Clay, which I'm aiming to finish early this week. This comes out on the 9th of October, so by the time I edit this vlog and upload it, this will be released for everybody to read, so I really need to hurry up. And then after Bridge of Clay, my next physical read will be Muse of Nightmares, because I didn't get to it in my last vlog and I felt really bad, so I need to get onto this as soon as possible. This also came out in October, but this came out on October 2nd, so I'm already behind, but I really can't wait to read it. Everyone who's read it that I know has raved about it, so I really need to get to this. And then for audiobooks, I'm still reading Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I'm just over halfway through this and I think I've got about five-ish hours left, so I can definitely finish this in a couple of days. And then I don't think this will be possible, but if I can, depending on how fast I finish Scarlet, I have The Rose Society on audiobook as well, but I'm also starting Spookathon on October 15th, so if I can squeeze this in before I start my spooky audiobook then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so yes these are my reading plans for this week. Wish me luck because I'll probably need it with Bridge of Clay. I am hoping to get through all of them before my spookathon TBR so let's see how that goes. Well would you look at that it's another car unboxing. <laughs> I got sent Wondersmith by the lovely people at Hachette. This is book two to Nevermore and The Trials of Morrigan Crow. This is kind of like a portal fantasy series where Morrigan Crow is kind of this abused, neglected child and she goes through this door to the magical world of Nevermore. And after joining this kind of school called the Wondrous Society, she becomes a student obviously and her journey goes on from there. This is such a fun middle grade and I can't wait to continue. I adored Nevermore when I read it last year. It says Morrigan Crow has escaped her deadly fate and found a new home in the fantastic city of Nevermore. She has also discovered that she has a strange and magical ability, but will her unique talent be a blessing or another curse? I just stopped filming but I turned the camera back on because I feel like I should tell you what I'm doing today. <laughs> it is Monday and it's just after 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to go to the library later this afternoon. I've got a few errands to run this morning and then I'll be doing some reading of The Bridge of Clay. So I'll chat to you later and I'll show you what happened. Hello, it is Tuesday and I just wanted to drop in and update you because I've done a bit of reading since I talked to you last. Last night I ended up finishing a comic and that is Miss Marvel No Normal. This is an awesome comic about a Muslim girl who's 16 and she gets Miss Marvel's powers. I've had this on my shelf for god knows how long and I finally picked it up, read it, gave it a four stars, loved it to death and I can't wait to continue reading this series. It was just a nice little quick supplement to the slow long books that I'm currently reading to be honest. I have also already packed my bag because I'm going out to meet a friend and then I'm going to the library after that so I don't have it right here on me but in Bridge of Clay I've got to about 70% so that's like 170 pages I've got left to read and on the Scarlet audiobook I'm about 67% through so I don't have much of that left either. I'm hoping I can finish those either today or tomorrow and that leaves the last half of the week to start Muse of Nightmares. Fingers crossed that I can get through them because I know I said that in my last vlog and I didn't so I'm really aiming to finish them in this vlog. time no speak it is now Wednesday and it's almost six o'clock at night and I'm just dropping in because I finished Scarlet on audiobook and I'm very proud of the fact that I actually finished something in a reading vlog this is such a cool Disney princess sci-fi retelling following Red Riding Hood obviously Scarlet I just loved how this book connected so much with Cinder in book one I didn't realize that it would connect and then kind of expand the cast of characters and the fact that it did made me so much more intrigued for what's going to happen next. I really loved how kind of the cast comes together in this story and it grows more so and develops so much. I really am trying to be vague because I don't want to spoil anything but I, I really like the interactions and the world building and I guess the character growth that happens in this book as well. I found it emotional and funny and just really riveting. And overall, I gave it a four out of five stars and I can't wait to continue on with Cress. I feel like I need a drum roll or something, but I finally finished Bridge of Clay and I'm not even showing it correctly. Eh, there you go. I finally finished this behemoth of a book. 
I finally finished it and I don't really know what my feelings are. It's a very ambiguously written book and the prose is kind of, I want to say whimsical, but I also don't want to say whimsical because Strange the Dreamer to me by Lainey Taylor was whimsical, but it was also atmospheric and this wasn't quite the same. It didn't have the same magic, at least for me personally, and I'm not quite sure whether to give it a four out of five stars or a three and a half out of five stars, but I think those ratings would go purely on the enjoyment factor rather than the written and the quality factor, because I don't think this was for me. I didn't quite connect with it the way I thought I would. I had really high expectations because even though I haven't read The Book Thief, obviously I know about The Book Thief that Marcus Dussek has written and I know how well renowned that book is. So when he came out with this book and it's got high praise on the cover, I just imagined that it would be a lot more amazing. But that said though, even though I didn't love this as much as I anticipated that I would, I still ended up getting emotional, you know, at a couple of lines, especially closer to the end. I didn't really connect so much with the characters, but I connected with the themes and the circumstances that was happening to them, which doesn't really make sense unless you've read it. I don't really know how else to sum this up, other than to say that the tagline is a boy, a bridge, a miracle and nothing less. And that is very apt and very vague, but it also tells you exactly what the story is about at the same time. So. If you like drawn out prose that's very kind of snappy in the dialogue, I would encourage you to pick this up. It is adult fiction, it's not young adult fiction, so it will have a bit of a different flavour to YA. And now that I've finally finished these two, guess what I can move on to? News of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I have been anticipating this so much and it has been staring me bright red on my shelf and making me feel really guilty that I haven't picked it up yet and I finally that said though, I am probably going to spend the next couple of days probably playing a video game and listening to an audiobook, which reminds me, I haven't said it yet, but I just started listening to The Rose Society by Mary Lou, and that's the second in her Young Elites trilogy. It's like a dystopian slash X-Men powers kind of story with an anti-hero at the center. I read the first book ages ago. I can't even remember when I finished it, but it was a while ago now. And I'm not really remembering many of the characters or the circumstances to relate to book two that I'm listening to now. So I might have to go back and read a chapter summary or like a spoiler summary or something of book one, but I'm still really interested in book two and I'm like 10% into the audiobook. So that's like an hour out of an 11 hour book. So I'm not very far into it yet, but I'm liking what I've listened to so far. This is going to be my next physical read and The Rose Society is my current listen. So hopefully I can get through the rest of those in the week because it's Wednesday, so hump day, and I've gotten past the two books that I was stuck on, so that's always exciting. So yes, I will catch you in my next clip. Hi, it is now Friday and it's about 4.30 in the afternoon and I haven't been filming because I ended up getting a random phone call and I'm now temping over the week of Spookathon, which is annoying for my reading, but great for my personal life. So even though I have been working during the day, I've managed to squeeze in a little bit of reading and I have started Muse of Nightmares. I'm only about 20 pages in, but as promised from Strange the Dreamer, it is still magical and of course I'm loving it. There are a couple of new characters as well as our main focus characters from the previous book. I'm not going to say specific names because spoiler alert. So I can't wait to get through this. I hope I can finish it maybe this weekend. We don't have too many plans, but if I end up not finishing it and then having to start Spookathon, I'll just put it down and then pick it up when I finish my Spookathon TBR. So I will get to it. It's just a matter of when really. As for The Rose Society by Marie Lu, I've got about six-ish hours left of that audiobook, which is about three hours for me because I listen quite fast to audiobooks. I am liking it. I'm not liking it as much as book one, which I read physically. I'm finding Adelina very dramatic. I think I might just be picking up on that because I'm having to listen to her voice constantly. <laughs> so I also wanted to show an unboxing to you because a package arrived while I was out at work. So I thought I'd open it on camera as you do. Mm. The lovely team at Bloomsbury Australia sent me Other Earth and this is the sequel to Otherworld. This is co-written by Jason Siegel, I believe, and it's a young adult sci-fi that also includes video games like Warcross does. I haven't actually read book one, but they sound really cool, so I would definitely give them a shot if I had time on my TBR. This is probably just going to go on my shelf for now though, but it looks really stunning. 
So that's all I really have to share at the moment. I'm probably just going to be reading Muse of Nightmares for the rest of the day and possibly editing some footage for this vlog. And then Dave will come home, we'll have dinner and we're loving this show called Big Mouth at the moment. We're on season two. It's very crude and very overly sexualized though. It's a cartoon about these kids who are about 12 and 13 and just starting to go through puberty and it doesn't really hold anything back. We find it absolutely hilarious and it's awesome to just sit down after a long day and de-stress to this show. So I may have been watching that show instead of reading but let's hope I can get through this. Look at the tripod situation. I just I had to show you. <laughs> It's me again and it is now Sunday and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm just dropping in to wrap up this vlog because I don't think I'll be doing any more reading today. We've got to go out to a bit of a later lunch at Yamcha which is going to be delicious and then tonight we're just going to be chilling out and probably watching some Netflix so I probably won't do too much more reading. I do have about 45 minutes left of one of my audiobooks so I will definitely finish that today but apart from that I don't think I'll do much reading of my current book but I'll get into that in a minute. So the books that I ended up finishing in this vlog were Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Finally I had so much fun reading this book and I gave it a four out of five stars. I also ended up finishing a comic book and that is Miss Marvel No Normal and I also gave this a four out of five stars. And I'm so pleased that I finished Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak as well. This took me so long to read and I finally finished it and I ended up giving this about a three and a half to four stars. I am currently listening to The Rose Society and like I said just before I've got about 45 minutes left so I will definitely finish that today. I am liking it, but I think it's going to be about a three-ish stars. I'm not liking it as much as book one and I just find it very dramatic and in it I'm finding that the words his eyes hardened or her eyes hardened. I just find that those things are overused quite a lot and I don't really understand what it means. If a character is going through a huge negative emotion, can you convey it in a way that's more physical as well as just through the eyes because I feel like if I was looking at someone and their eyes hardened I wouldn't understand what that meant but anyway that's just a little bit of a pet peeve that I got listening to that book because now I can't unnotice it but as for my current physical read I've still got Muse of Nightmares to go I'm about 60 pages into this and I'm really loving it but I'm just really not reading as you probably saw in my vlog I ended up sitting down and playing Crash Bandicoot on PlayStation while I listened to my audiobook which is a little bit hard to do for a physical book maybe I'll end up picking up the audiobook who knows but I just don't want to rush this at the same time because I know that I'm really going to love it and if I just give myself the chance to sit down and enjoy it then I will really really benefit from that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this reading vlog. I actually got through a bunch of books, which I didn't expect, but I'm glad happened. I can't wait to start my Spookathon books because that vlog is going to be filmed next and I'm just really, really excited. I did film a reading wrap up as a sit down video for a few of these as well. So more of my thoughts will be up on my channel very shortly. But for now, thank you so much for watching this reading vlog. I really appreciate it and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.